In this video, we will discuss interest rate parity. Interest rate parity is a relationship that exists between the future currency exchange rate, in this case between dollars and British pounds, the spot currency exchange rate, again in this case between dollars and British pounds, the risk-free interest rate in the United States, the risk-free rate in Britain, and the number of years until the expiration of the option, or that could be the fractional number of years, for example, one half for six months. For this relationship to be true, you have to have an active futures market, like exists on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the free exchange of currencies, which does not always exist. For example, this wouldn't exist in the former Soviet Union, and there are some countries where the country sticks the exchange rate at a fixed peg that is not actually realistic and an active black market exists. You would also have to have a risk-free interest rate, probably a government debt instrument, available in each country. If it is true, this relationship has to be true. If it is not true, then a trader could make a so-called arbitrage profit that would be a risk-free profit by either taking a short or long position in the future and buying um, or selling the underlying currency and taking positions in the debt instruments. Therefore, since everyone wants to make money without taking on any risk, the markets will drive this equation to being true. We will give an example here. If the current British dollar exchange rate is 0.7189 British pounds per dollar. The two-year risk-free rate in the USA is around 2%, and the two-year risk-free rate in Great Britain is around 0.83%, then we can calculate what the future has to be. The first step, since our equation is in dollars per British pound, and we're given our data in British pound per dollar, is we have to invert the 0.7189 to get 1.391 dollars per British pound. We can then use that in this equation to figure out what the future dollar British pound exchange rate has to be. We take the current exchange rate here, multiply it by 1 plus the interest rate H9 in dollars, to the number of years, which is 2, and divide that by 1 plus the interest rate in British pounds, again to the number of years, which is 2, and we get the future exchange rate has to be 1.4, roughly $3 per British pound. Notice in this case, in the future, we are going to say it will take more dollars to buy a British pound than it does now. That is because the interest rate in dollars is higher than the interest rate in British pounds. In a free market system, this would be an indication that probably you had higher inflation in the US, and therefore the value of the dollar was depreciating relative to the British pound. With central banks intervening, that isn't always the case. Thank you for watching this video.